Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a video for those that are sticking with Windows 7 as some of you will be sticking with Windows 7 and continue using it once again just for those that didn't know because we talked a lot about it Windows 7 had its last security updates on Tuesday January 14th from now on it's not supported anymore you will not get any security updates for the future. And of course, that means that as time goes by, you will be more and more vulnerable to malware and attacks on the internet. So if you are sticking with Windows 7, and by the way, you should not. And you should not listen to those that say, oh, I'll be using it for the next five years without any problems they will run into problems. Uh, these are exa perfect examples of people that really don't know what they are talking about. So Windows 7 is not an option and you get, for the most part, most people can get a free upgrade to Windows 10. Just look at the video I posted yesterday. There's no reasons to stay with Windows 7 unless some specific software or hardware prevents you from doing so. But if you do stay with Windows 7, what can you do to mitigate its um, security hazard, if you want. How can you stay safe with Windows 7? If you can, of course, the best thing to do is not connect it to the internet. If you don't connect it to the internet, it becomes a pretty safe operating system because nothing can access from the outside. Of course, one of the first things not to do, don't continue using Internet Explorer 11 from Windows 7. That would be a very bad idea. It's already somewhat of a bad idea, but now it's going to be even worse because that is not going to be updated with security updates anymore. Use third-party browsers, Firefox, uh, Google Chrome, uh, Opera. They are all going to be supported for a while. Even Microsoft's own Edge Chromium browser that was released yesterday. A minimum of 18 months of updates. Make sure that you are updated everywhere that you can. The browser, if you use some software, if they continue updating that software, whatever program you're using, use that updated software. If you're using Office, you should not be using Office 2007. You should be uh, using Office 2010 because Office 2010 will still continue receiving updates until the end of this year, well, October 13th of this year. At least you've got that time where, um, you know, this is going to work. But if you're not using Office or you don't need the official Office, uh, you can use something like LibreOffice, which is free, and that will be possibly updated and continue to be updated for the next uh, year or two um, for Windows 7. There's still a lot of people on Windows 7, so a lot of the software will be uh, still um, updated for a while. Make sure that the common targets uh, that are always um, you know, being used by bad guys are removed. Don't use Java and remove anything that's Flash and try to avoid going to Flash websites of games and stuff like that because the Flash player will not be updated with its security updates. And God knows, there's been a lot of security updates for Flash player in the last year or two. Adobe Reader also is a common target. Um, if that continues to be updated, uh, updated, and if not, there are some alternatives that are updated for reading PDFs. Now, the... Antivirus software becomes a little more important because the Microsoft Security Essential software will stop being updated also. So maybe check out a third-party solution for uh, antivirus software. So, um, you know, you can use maybe AVG or anything that, that, that is still updated and still works. So um, check that out. Uh, you can, of course, run any antivirus that you wish to run. These will, of course, be updated for a while also, so that keeps you 
safer on the internet. Uh, be extra careful at everything you do from now on, even more than you had before. Um, suspicious email with attachments and things like that. Now is the time to be even more cautious. Now's the time to really, really uh, not click on whatever you see because as time goes by, that will be a big danger for you. You can mitigate also the security hazard by creating a user account that is not administrative. So in Windows 7, of course, the main account can be an administrator, which has all the powers. It can do anything in Windows. But if you create a user account that is not administrative, it actually locks down your Windows a little more. This is a good idea to actually do this. So what you could do is by using a standard account for your day-to-day -day stuff and going on the internet with the browser, without the consent of the admin, you can't really install much. And it mitigates the dangers of basically um, getting infected because it doesn't have the rights to access most of the Windows file system. And finally, I think D thing that you need to do is to think about how you're going to move on to the future, whatever you want to uh, do. It could be moving on to Windows 10. Uh, in some cases, it could be moving on to Windows 8.1, which is uh, still available and, and updated until 2023. Don't forget Windows 10 upgrades are free for most people. And if you have an old PC that you're not sure you want to go for the free upgrade of Windows 10, there's always the possibility of a Linux distro of some sort. And don't forget also, maybe, you know, it's time to think about buying a new PC if your PC is uh, seven, eight, nine years old. Maybe it's that time now with a brand new PC with Windows 10 on it. But stay safe, be careful, and uh, be extra careful as time goes by. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.